Yo guys, welcome back to another video, whatever you are, special greetings to you. And don't forget, if today is your first time, please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever we draw video, you will be the first person to be notified. In this video, we are going to be talking about how Italian government has made the vaccine mandatory for people who are over the ages of 50. And also, if you want to learn the Italian language, there is opportunity for you to also do so if you are willing and you are interested to do so there's opportunity for what for you so guys without wasting much time let's do this thing together yeah guys but before i start the video let me tell you that if you're from nigeria and you want to send money back to Nigeria, the best application for you is tap tap send go to google play or app store download tap tap register in your first transfer if you use my promo code which is official niger you are going to be getting five euros five pounds or ten dollars and you can send money through banks like the zenith bank the wema bank the access bank and also the first bank and there's also cash pickup available you have to collect the person valid national ID or driver's lances and it is very easy for a person to do what to collect the money and now let's move on to the main reason why we are here today as I said before Italian government has made the vaccine obligatory for people who are over the ages of 50 years so now if you are more than 50 the vaccine has become something mandatory or obligatory on you you have to do it there is no way that you can dodge it now if you are going to public places like the up the, the post office the banks you have to show your green pass you have to show your green pass even in public transport you have to show the correct green pass not the fake one as i did the video about how some people are demonstrating or demonstrating the fake ones and they are being arrested so make sure you take your vaccine and get the original a COVID certificate or the green pass. So this is what is happening or this is what is coming from the side of the Italian government as they have made the vaccine mandatory for people who are over the ages of 50. So for them, they cannot dodge the vaccine again. What they have to do is to go and take the vaccine because now they said in the hospitals of Italy, if you go, the people who have not been vaccinated also are much in the hospital. Now, if you go to the hospitals now, people who have not been vaccinated are over there you understand they have choked in the hospital so now they have put in it that in such a way that if you are over 50 and you you are no vax you have not vaccinated you have to do what go and do what and vaccinate so put in mind that if you are over 50 years now the vaccine is mandatory for you even if you are no vax you have to go and do it because they will not allow you to go to public places and then there are a lot of things or a lot of activities that you cannot do what you cannot do let's watch the video when we are back we will give you the rest of the update so stay tuned the italian government approved wednesday to make vaccines mandatory for over 50 year olds the measure was voted unanimously by cabinet and adds to the country's super green pass which limits activities without proof of the jab or recent recovery from the virus we extended the mandatory basic green pass to the entire sector of those who use public and private services to go to the bank, the notary, the post office or social security office, it will be compulsory to have the green pass, almost everywhere except food shops. Until now, vaccine mandates were only in place for health workers, teachers and the police. The Italian government has been under pressure to reduce strain on hospitals at risk of becoming overwhelmed. Around 78% of Italy's population has received two doses. But the health minister claims the unvaccinated are causing the squeeze on the health system, accounting for two-thirds of the patients in rapidly filling ICU beds. We should be grateful the National Health Service can vaccinate us for free. I think mandatory vaccination should be extended to everyone, or at least all adults, so I see it positively. Italy registered on Wednesday 189,000 new infections and 231 fatalities. The nation's death toll is Europe's second highest after the UK. I hope you have seen the video. So that is how the government of Italy has made the COVID-19 vaccine mandatory for people who are over the ages of 50. And now let's move on to the next story. As I said before, if you want to learn the Italian language and you are a foreigner or immigrant living in Palermo, there is a big opportunity for you. You have to try and learn the language. Sometimes some of us forget that being in the country 
the first thing you have to do is to learn the language <laughs> but sometimes we over we change it or we mislead that we are looking for money before we learn the language because the, le the language is the first thing you have to do the principle the, that is the beginning every the beginning for you you understand you have to learn the language before you do any other thing because the time you start to work you will not get time to go to school you understand and then it will be very difficult for you to go and learn the language if you are working some people will just say they have learned C and that is it. Anything they ask them, they say C. Don't be part of this kind of people. Try to learn the language even if you don't want to stay in the country. Learn the language the day you are going back to your country. If you reach their airport, remove their language for them and go. It is very simple. But so far as you are living in the country, please, you have to learn the language. Now, they said Italy language school for, foreign, for foreigners in Palermo. So, uh, the Italian school for migrants at Gonzaga campus in Palermo helped those feeling poverty and violence. They said for 15 years, it has been uh, a focal point for migrants and refugees who want to integrate in Italy. And it is also part of integration in the country, learning the language. Uh, they said for 15 years, the Italian school for migrants at Gonzaga campus in Palermo had been helped helping those feeling poverty and violence. They said the school is re recognized by the Astali Center, the Italian face of the Jesuit refugee service, and it is a focal point for migrants and refugees who want to integrate, beginning with the language of the host country. They said, I have, they said, I quote, they said, I have been in Palermo for four years and, uh, and this is the first year, and this is the first year I have participated in this course, said Sarah, 35 years old, who arrived in Italy from Nigeria. This one also said, uh, trying to learn the Italian language is very important, above all, because it gives you a greater chance to find work. Of times, of times. Of times, many problems arise precisely from the difficulties of not being able to understand each other. They said, I, I want to learn how to write and speak the Italian uh, language. Well, because my desire is one day to be able to work as a cultural mediator, a translator, said Adish, a 24-year-old Marotanian, Marotanian, Maru, Marutian. They said by improving communication, many, goal, many goals can be reached, he said. Another student, a 28-year-old 20, Brazilian named Annie, recently obtained Italian citizenship. I have always liked the Italian culture a lot, she said. I, graduate, I graduated in mathematics in my country, but my desire in Italy is to specialize in sign language for deaf people, for deaf people. They said after COVID work resumes. They said ten volunteer work with the migrant with the mig with the migrant along with four four young people for the school work internship. Internship. The volunteer include a semi a seminarian, a primary school Italian teacher, a middle school French teacher, and other teachers now in retirement. They said after a period of forced break due to the pandemic starting last November, we resume all our school activities, said the Jewit Giacomo Andretta, coordinator of the school volunteer service. At the moment, there are about 40 foreigners between 12 and 40 years old, uh, but their number could grow a bit to a limit extent due to COVID regulations. We have several causes caused cases of family reunification of people who had to start from scratch with the Italian language. They say the students uh, come the, the students come from different countries. Uh, we have the Argentina, Brazil, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, uh, Mauritius, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Algeria, Latvia and Ukraine. They said the school is open every afternoon from Monday to Friday and is organized into four courses. Uh, we have people who need to learn basic literacy and others who need to improve their level for work or to obtain citizenship. In May, in May, there will be a chance for some to take the external exams, but external exams that satisfies the B Uno language level required for residence card or citizenship. Andre, Andre, Andretta said, 
They said a pillar, a pillar of Gonzaga campus. They said a Centro Astali, Italian, Centro Astali, Italian school is one of the pillars of Gonzaga, said Father, Father Vitang, Vitangelo Denora, Genora Gonzaga, campus general director, the experience of the school for foreigners, which has been carried out on campus for many years now. It is essential for us. It is, it's, it is not a matter of hospitality, but rather a meaningful element that is integral to our educational program. Denora explains there are three schools at Gonzaga, the Italian school, the international school, and the school for migrants, all of which share the values of hospitality, inclusion, and social integration. So if you are living in Palermo, I think you can find the schools and you can also go and do what and learn the language, you understand? It is, learning Italian language is not that you will be learning it every day. Maybe a day you can have like two hours. You can have like two hours in a day. Um, yeah, maybe you have two hours in a day. The rest you use them to work small, small so that you learn them. It's not that you have to speak the Italian language very perfect. It's not to speak it very perfect, but, uh, but try your best to understand, to understand uh, a lot of basic, basic things. Sometimes to apply for the citizenship, you need uh, the certificate B1, you understand? So you need to try, at least get something with you and then you will proceed. We know it is very difficult, but you have to do what? Try your best. And this is the update I have for you today. And maybe if you're not living in Palermo and you are living in other, count, other city, sorry. <laughs> if you're living in other city of Italy and maybe you also want to know where you can get free Italian language school, you can still let me know in the comment section below so that I'll link you up to a school that you can also go and do what and learn the Italian language because it is very important. So if you also want to learn the language and maybe your city or your area you don't know, just give me a comment and write where you are living. I'll get a free school or I'll link you up to a school where you can go and also learn the language without any problem. And this is the update I have for you today. And you can also go to TikTok and follow me. I have started uploading videos over there. If you just go and search official character, you are going to see me. Or if I will leave the link in the YouTube video description and you have to join it there. Go to uh, TikTok, right, to follow me. I'll be leaving short videos over there. And if you want to do your ISA or set it renter, please contact Sister Anita of Great Grace Calf Service. Till we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and stay blessed. Peace out.